Hello, my name's Fran and you're watching a retouching tutorial for tipsquirrel.com. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been getting some great feedback on my Star Wars image and I got a question from Simon James Dunn over on Twitter and he was asking how I got the style of the image because he sees it a lot in wedding photography and he's trying to figure out how to do it. So I'm going to teach you how to do it. It's literally one simple step. It's one adjustment layer. So I'm going to delve into Photoshop. I'm going to show you how you can do it. So if we come down here to the adjustments panel, click on curves. And then we're just going to put three points on the curves layer. And because we're going for a matte effect, I want to take away a lot of the blacks from the image. So I'm just going to push these points further up towards a more gray sort of midpoint. I'm just going to move it up just a touch. And that's how we create this matte effect, this matte finish, if you like. So I've just turned that on and off. It's looking pretty good. Obviously, you can reduce the opacity if you want. You can change the points on the curve. It's really up to you how you do it because everyone's taste is different. For some of you, this might be too far. Uh, for some of you, it might not be far enough. I prefer this kind of curve, but on 100% opacity. I think it works really, really well. There's a lot of dark tones, a lot of black tones in this image, and I really wanted to reduce that a little bit. So this curves can, this curves layer can really, really help that and create this matte finish. Okay, so that is the curves layer tip to create the matte effect. Now, I've actually got a bonus tip for you guys today, and it's about the lookup table or the color lookup, which is a fantastic little hidden gem in Photoshop. And if you go to window and adjustments, you'll find the color lookup uh, tool. So if you click on that, and then you've got a drop down menu here with a bunch of great effects for your images. Um, some are quite sort of subtle, some are quite extreme, but it sort of obviously depends on your taste. But there's some really great effects here. And it's they're really good if you just wanna see how an effect is gonna look. Um, obviously you can do a long winded way of doing adjustments and different layers and stuff but if you just want a quick effect on there it's brilliant especially for wedding photography or photography where um, you need to retouch it very very quickly but you want a really cool effect on you can use the lookup table it's brilliant. All right, guys, so that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll be putting out a lot more content, so please subscribe and you'll be notified about my new videos. Also, check out tipsquirrel.com for more Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.